I bought the cheapest and oldest dump truck on Craigslist. been looking for a dump truck for quite some time now I wouldn't say I've been seriously looking for one I was just occasionally looking like on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist and I was really having trouble finding something that I wanted for a decent price as you all know the used truck market is completely out of control I was finding dump trucks that were 20 25 years old that were selling for more than they were new so I wasn't having a lot of luck and then one of our subscribers his name is Matthew uh, every once in a while he would send us an email of different dump trucks from the Pittsburgh area and I'd check them out and some were pretty nice some not so nice but he sent one the other day that kind of caught my eye I ever show you this little button right here push that button when you're filling it up you can hear it it's inside the cab the beeping speeds up the closer it gets to full so you don't spill fuel all over the place the first thing that caught my eye was the price. The owner was asking $3,000 for this truck, and the second thing was it's a Ford, and I'm pretty much a Ford guy. The only downside that I could see was the truck was 48 years old, actually almost as old as I am. I'm 55. Where are you headed? I'm going to get Archie's birthday present. Archie's birthday's tomorrow, two years old. Two. He'd be disappointed if he knew that you were just going now to get his gift. It has to be freshly made oh. the day before. All so, right. Yeah, I didn't want to back into your new truck. So yeah. I was pretty careful. This does have a remarkable camera view. It does. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, I'll see you in a bit. All right. But anyway, enough of the suspense. I'll go get it right now, and I'll show you what I bought. Well, there she is. That's a 1974 Ford F700. Runs pretty good. She's a little smoky, but the more you run it, it seems to clean up some. Definitely a pre-emissions truck. You're not putting any def fluid in this. Now, you can probably tell from the sound, this is not the original engine that's in this truck. I think these came with like a uh, 361, and this one has a cat 3208 that was put in I think around 1998 or 1999 I've got no idea how many miles are on it but uh, it's actually in pretty decent shape 
It really is for being 48 years old and coming from the Pittsburgh area. Take a look inside here. So the cab, you know, what do you expect? Like I said, it's 48 years old, but it has air brakes. Uh, there's no leaks there. And surprisingly, the frame is in really good shape, maybe due to the uh, oil leaks, but probably because this has been kept inside most of its life. Well, in the winter months it has been. This truck came from a nice guy. He's uh, 81 years old, was in the concrete business his entire life, and retired just a few years ago, actually. And he told me this truck sat in his shop every winter. You know, they didn't pour much concrete in the wintertime. But it's actually not in too bad a shape. There's a few holes in the bed here and there. But uh, the plan is just to use this here on the property. And, you know, if I can get a summer or two out of this, it'll be uh, money well spent. But I think the engine's good. It really wouldn't take that much to get this truck to pass inspection. You know, here in Pennsylvania, we have state inspections. Uh, it needs a couple tires. There's a stud broken off of a wheel. Front wheel over here. Uh, all the lights work, though. The brakes are good. She's just an old truck. The floor of the dump bed pretty decent couple little holes in the sides and up front there but I don't really have any plans to uh, take this on the road I was thinking maybe put a few bucks into it to be able to get it inspected but I've got plenty of work for it you know right here on the property I'll probably take the sideboards off of it just because I'm gonna be you know hauling mostly dirt with it and uh, I don't really need them for that plus I'll have a better you know, angle dumping into it and be able to see into the bed a little bit more. You wouldn't be able to fill the whole thing up with dirt, but uh, I think you could put a pretty good jag on this truck, though. I do. Pretty excited about this old girl. So the other day I contacted the owner of this truck, well, actually now the previous owner, and uh, by the way, thanks again, Matthew, for sending me that link, but I made arrangements to go down the next morning and check this thing out. And when I got there, it was pretty much exactly what I expected, you know, being an old truck like that. And the guy's a super nice gentleman. He was 81 years old, and he was asking $3,000 for the truck. So at that point, the negotiations started, and they went something like this. He said, make me an offer. I said, how about this? I'll give you the three grand for the truck. And that was the end of it. Uh, nice guy. He's had that truck since 1975. He bought it when it was one year old and has used it ever since in his concrete business. Now, down there in the city, I'm telling you, uh, I didn't even like driving down there in my pickup truck to go look at this thing. And Dakota from Hook and Hall, that's who you saw in the intro to this video, he took that big truck down there and got this truck, drug it back up here to our place. No problems at all. I was pretty impressed with that. So this truck came from down in the city, like I said, and it's probably a 45 or 50 minute drive up to our place. And I probably could have driven it. I think it would have made it. However, the truck's not inspected, not insured, and not licensed. And that would mean uh, three strikes and you're out. So I called my buddy Brian. He owns a company called Hook and Hall. They have a location over in Ohio and one here not too far from us. It's a big company. They've got tons of those big trucks like you saw in the intro to this video. And I had a chance to kind of look at it a little bit, and Dakota explained to me a little bit of what the capabilities are. All right, we've got uh, Dakota here from Hook and Hall. Yeah. And he went and picked up uh, Old Blue for us today. A little bit of overkill with this truck here, huh? I was already in the area, and I mean, it would have been a lot of time to go back grab a different truck, so here we are. I would like to uh, come see you guys someday and go over some of these trucks. They're incredible. Oh, I'm, yeah. What's the crane on this one? So, this one is 50 ton, which is 100,000 pounds, and I mean, they're, they're really incredible machines. You can swing it 360 degrees, boom in and out, multiple winches, I mean... The capabilities are, are really almost endless when you know how to use a machine like this. And now what all we got going on here? So, I mean, it looks like a lot to take in. Everything's color coded actually from factory. The way they build these is extremely intricate. Um, you got a whole display here. Shows oh, yeah. you 
how many cables you have going, your boom angle, capacity, your weight, your load. I mean, tons of information. You have a whole entire control box. This area right here runs all of your outriggers, front, back, and out. And yeah, just all the controls. How much reach do you have on that about? Uh, I'm not completely sure. Nice thing is they make these little, they make these little panels right here. It looks like we got about 30 feet out. They make these sweet little, oh uh, yeah, placards that give you everything you need when you're on the road. Do quick math. This isn't even just a. I mean, there's so much like tech in oh, one yeah. of these as well. Yeah, there's no such thing as just a simple tow truck anymore. I mean, they are really incredible. So, what all do you guys do primarily at Hook and Haul? Uh, we do a lot of towing mostly, a little bit of recoveries and winch outs. I mean, we got rolled over trucks. If you go on our Facebook page, uh, there's actually a video of me rolling over a dump truck a couple years ago and uh, a lot of service calls, specialty, specialty jobs that a lot of other people really struggle with. Right. Yeah, so. I'll put a link to your guys' Facebook page in the description. Yeah, that'd be great. And they can check that out. But, uh, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, I need to get with you guys in the daylight sometime and go over one of these trucks yeah. front to back. Yeah, come on a ride along. See something, see something like what, what yeah. I do every day. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, thanks, Dakota. No problem. So sometime here in the near future, I'm going to get Dakota and his dad, Brian, on camera. And I'm trying to convince them to start a YouTube channel. They both have the right personalities, and they do a ton of very, very interesting stuff. They got really cool equipment. A couple years ago, we were at a uh, 4th of July parade in a local town near here, and they had three of their trucks in the parade. So I went back to some footage from that day, and I'll show you that right now. So I wanted to uh, take this down to the wood yard and take the excavator down, maybe put a load or two of dirt in it and see how it dumps, but it's starting to rain right now. Uh, we'll do that in an upcoming video, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this truck. I think it'll come in pretty handy around here. Sounds good. Furs like a kitten. Something else worth a mention, and I'm guilty of this as much as the next guy, but a lot of people talk about how you don't see a lot of younger people out, you know, working real hard, doing things that need done. Uh, that Dakota that brought this truck up for me is 22 years old. He called me when he was on his way down. He dropped the drive shaft on the truck. He's in the middle of the city with that big truck. Brought it up here, got it unhooked, put the drive shaft back on. Good to go. 22 years old. That's pretty impressive. So you will, uh, you'll definitely be seeing more of this truck. It'll come in pretty handy around here. But before I wrap this video up, I want to show you something else that I uh, got yesterday for inside the building. The wood stove came in. This is a Regency Pro Series F5200. This is a pretty good sized stove. Uh, it'll definitely cook you out of this room right here. If you're new to our channel, by the way, this is a uh, game room inside of a new building that we built. The shop's on the other side over there, but uh, this will just be a big game room over here. We do have radiant floor heat in here as well, but I also wanted a, uh, a wood stove inside. So yeah, that should work out pretty good.
Got all the uh, triple wall pipe, everything to go up through the roof is right here. It didn't take too long to get this. Maybe about a month, I think it took to get everything in. It's crazy, we live in a time now where uh, when you can order something and get it in within a month, that's a good thing. Remember the good old days, it used to take like a couple days to get stuff. But anyway, before I wrap this video up, uh, we need to come up with a name for that truck. I mean, it's blue. I was thinking old blue or just blue, but if you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments. And I appreciate y'all being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.